Today I'm going to give you an update on the Charlottesville real estate market. We are approaching the third quarter and the market is really hot. So let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Journey and I'm a realtor and buyer specialist with Town in Charlottesville, Virginia. You can visit our website and learn more about us at townseville.com. The real estate market in Charlottesville is so hot right now, some homes are being bought even before a for sale sign can go up. Sales are up 13% compared to this time last year. Sale prices may be up, but the inventory is down. There has been a shortage of housing in the marketplace for years now, and buyers are struggling to find homes that fit their needs. And so buyers entering the market have to react quickly because of the limited inventory of homes for sale. Home sales climbed 7.5% compared to this time last year, led by an increase 23.6% in attached homes. The number and how quickly attached homes are selling is surprising, but I think there are two reasons for it. One, there is a different type of attached home than what you may think. Many of us see attached homes as vertical townhomes and side-by-side -side duplexes. Due to the cost of dirt, it is difficult to build horizontally while keeping the price of the home down. A solution to this has become a patio style, which places two homes side-by-side -side with a garage separation. Two, interestingly, the older millennials and the late stage baby boomers are now both looking for this type of one level living, no maintenance home, which is what has created the demand for this type of product. Greater Charlottesville median sale prices rose slightly to $314,500, which is 1.6% compared to this time last year, which was $309,500. The median days on market for the last quarter was 45, which is 10 days lower than last year. New listings increased 7.5% compared to last year at this time, as pending sales also improved by 12.8%. According to CAR, there are less than 1,000 homes on the market right now in Charlottesville and Albemarle County. However, as I mentioned earlier, the inventory of homes for sale has declined and keeps declining for Charlottesville, resulting in four months supply of inventory compared to almost five months supply this time last year. A balanced market has about six months of inventory, so our low inventory levels are good news for sellers because of the demand. Homes are selling faster than a year ago. The surrounding counties, such as Greene, Louisa County, and Nelson, saw a decrease in median sales price, but for attached homes, it went up. Fluvanna saw an increase in medium price for attached and detached homes. Two other points I want to bring to your attention are that one, new construction sales, which has increased over the last years, looks as if they are leveling off. Secondly, the higher price ranges, especially from five to 750,000, saw a significant increase in sales. This may be because builders now are into 2019 for delivery. For those needing a home sooner, they have to find an existing home rather than wait for a new one. National Outlook inventory continues to be lower in year over year comparisons, and home prices are predicted to rise than not but sales and new listings are forecast to finish the summer on an upswing. The housing supply outlook in several markets is beginning to show an increase in new construction and builders are moving away from overstocked rental units to new developments for sale. In the greater Charlottesville, the median sales price increased to 2.1% to $348,200 for detached homes. Finally, interest rates are historically low, below 5%, so it's still a very good time to buy. The number of people needing housing is increasing and will remain strong over the next few years. That, along with the fact there aren't enough homes for sale in certain price ranges, points to a moderate increase in the number of sales and home values moving forward. I understand that the real estate market is a bit confusing. This is why it's so important to hire a realtor to help you navigate through the process. 
You don't want to overpay because of a temporary supply shortage. If you are an unrepresented buyer or just browsing on Zillow and Realtor.com, those sites are highly inaccurate and it's likely you'll miss out on a good opportunity. Access through the local MLS through a Realtor is the only way to get immediate and 100% accurate information. If you are a first time home buyer or just trying to navigate the process, send me an email at ashleytownseville at gmail.com and I'd be happy to assist you. It is free to work with a buyer agent because we are paid by the sellers at closing. In Charlottesville, your mortgage is comparable to what you would pay in rent. So you might as well buy and build equity and appreciation. If you have questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you found it very helpful. If you have not, subscribe to my channel. Be sure to do that and turn on notifications so you are notified whenever I make a new video, which is every Wednesday. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next week.